HTML Video Tutorials Lesson 4, the image tag. In this video, I'll show you the basics of the HTML image tag. This will let you put an image on your web page. Let's start with our web page template from Lesson 1. If you need it, just go to the HTML Lesson 1 page on the Zoax.net website and download the file. You'll also need our example image file. It's on this HTML Lesson 4 page ready for download. Just right click on the image and choose Save Picture As and save it as zoax.net.ping to the same place as the index.html file. Now right click the index.html file and choose Edit. We will be focusing on putting an image tag inside the body area. First, put this code in between the body tags after the paragraph tag. Now save and double click the index.html file and you'll see the image appear on your web page. You'll see in this tag that there are four attributes. These four are the basic building blocks for the image tag and you should always use them if possible. First, the alt tag describes what's in your image and it's required by the DTD we chose. The alt text is shown by the web browser when or if the browser cannot render your image due to a setting in the browser or the image not being found. If the image is for decoration only, like a shadow on a box or a frame around something, use an empty alt attribute instead of omitting it entirely. Next, the width and height attributes help a web browser render a page faster because it knows exactly how much space to allow for each image. These also give the user a better experience because the page is rendered and the text is visible in its final position even if the images are still loading. If you don't specify these attributes, the text on the page may jump around as the images are loaded and then rendered. This image tag sets the width and height to 359 pixels in dimension. You don't need anything but the number of pixels in the value of the attribute. The height and width attributes are not required, but they are good practice to make a better looking and more functional page for the user. Finally, the source attribute is required, so that the web browser knows where to retrieve the image from when rendering the page. If the image is in the same directory as your web page, you can just type in the image name, as we've done here. Now double click on the index.html file and you should see the zoax.net image appear on your web page. For more information on accessing images in different directories outside of where your index.html file is, please see this HTML Lesson 4 page on zoax.net. On the other hand, you may also specify an absolute URL to your image. Change the source attributes value of the image tag to this URL, which points to the image on the zoax.net website. Save the index.html file and then double click it. You should see the image on your web page again, but this time it's being downloaded from the zoax.net website. And now you know the basics of the HTML image tag.